I'm not saying don't rap how you rap, my nigga, but make some shit we can vibe to. Sounded like a real nigga anthem. Charlie saw my wallet, now she think a nigga answer. Whoa, tell that bitch she wanted me to hammer. Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer. No. Stop. Uh, Stop. No. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, um, look how dirty my cars are. You can't even tell, but. And I'm on a hoverboard. No one cares. Ah! But look how dirty this one is. Hold this on. one's dirtier. This is disgusting. Who drives their Hellcat like that? Definitely not me. Just so kidding. So today, I'm gonna go through with you guys and show you guys how I detail my interiors of my cars. We're gonna do both at the same time because they're both gross. They're not gross, they're just used. So yeah, first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna take the floor mats out on each car and then I'm gonna show you guys how I clean them with so what I use, I use Chemical Glass Fabric Clean and I dilute it 10 to 1. Ugh, look how gross my handwriting was, like, not, um, ignore that. And then I use this brush, it's also from Chemical Guys. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the interior. How gross, first of all, actually, look how nasty the Hellcat is. Oh, guys, look it, I have a thing for my ranch when I'm eating in my car. But, um, it's kind of gross in here. Dirty, ew, dirty, oh, I just hit my head up here. Okay, we got, ew, gross. Can you take this, please? No. Thanks. We're gonna get to the passenger. Oh my gosh, there's more. That's me. That's you? Yeah, you always leave stuff like that in here. Let's take it. Passenger, gosh, this hook. Passenger. I'm gonna try to, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see me. Oh gosh. Oh, it's tilted. I'm gonna like take it out like taco style. And then, like, shake it off outside. And then the rear passenger. Which is the only person that ever gets in the back of my car is my sister, so it's not that dirty. Now, the. No, what is it called? Uh, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, wait, this is where you always go. So. It's in the way. <laughs> okay, let's take this. Imagine out. You, you find your lip. We got the rear one. Go put that over there. Then the driver one. And guys, so I am helping. Rocks. My, I'm trying to talk. Oh, sorry. Guys, and I'm trying to help my sister today. I've only done you. the You. The Corvette is a two seater, and there's only two mats, so I only have six to clean. Oh. Look how gross the vet is. I always kick my feet right there. And there. Ooh. I'll grab these mats. Wait, what the heck? Yeah, it's a towel. Look how gross and like muddy. Ew. I'm not talking to you guys. Oh, yeah. I'm talking to Gross. <laughs> this is how gross the vet ones are. It's, well, this one seems to mud. These are just covered in dirt. I'm gonna shake them off right now and then I'm gonna start cleaning them. Gonna grab this and a towel. It's probably smart to do the whole interior and then the floor mats last, like the floor last, but oh well. You're gonna get yourself dirty sitting on that. I don't care. <laughs> I'm already dirty. <laughs> You're gonna get chemicals all over you, you know that? Okay. I already got chemicals on the cleaner. So what I do, I saturate this. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. I saturate the entire thing. It smells, it smells good. And this stuff <coughs> makes you sneeze and cough a lot. <coughs> As you can tell. <coughs> we got proof. It smells so good. <coughs> um, do I put you guys here? Do you guys even see what I'm doing? So what I'm gonna do, since she doesn't want to hold the camera right now. Fine. <laughs> I love holding the camera. Okay. So, I'm gonna saturate it again, just a little bit. So, I like to go up and down, like this pretty hard, through the whole thing, and then side to side. I don't feel sticky. This sound is just making me cringe right now. Oh, getting goosebumps. So then you take your towel, and you really hard rub through, and wipe it off, and as you can see, there's a little, gunk there, yeah. and you do that through the whole thing. 
And if it's still dirty, like really dirty, repeat these steps. So this is after one pass and I'm gonna stop there because really, they don't really need it. So now what I do whenever I'm done cleaning a mat, I take the same brush and make these strokes through it just to make it look like it's freshly clean, like I just vacuumed it. Oh, here's a better one. Yeah, right there. Okay, there's one. Your hands are gonna get sticky from doing this from the dirt. Oh, that's so uneven. That's gonna kill me. Likes it there perfect. There we go. Ew, look a feather. Nah. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, it jumped at her. It's, <laughs> it's on, on the, the camera. camera. Ew. Uh. Get it off. Ew, ew, ew. <gasps> it's on me. <laughs> oh, it's on your leg now. <laughs> ew. <laughs> Okay, anyway. <laughs> we are done now. Now what I'm gonna do... What are you doing? Don't mind my cars. They're usually clean. <laughs> what is that? I have a little vacuum in here. I have lost my skinny attachment for them. For it. I'm gonna go in and vacuum. Doesn't even work anymore. It just vacuumed both of the cars. Um, but now I'm gonna step in here, even though I just vacuumed, and I'm gonna see how dusty it is in here in the back because. Um, my brother once told me that it is pretty dusty back here because nobody sits back here. I never come back here. Um, yeah, there's some, there's a little bit of dust. Um, not as much as I thought there's gonna be. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna do the door panels and plastics and stuff like that, and then after that I'm gonna do the leather. Usually when it's like really dirty, I use the Nonsense Invisible by Chemical Guys, and I think I'm just gonna do the quick detailer today. I'm gonna get another towel. I need to start using my tripod more often, or like get like a sticky thing to put here so I can put my camera here when I record in the car and don't feel like using a GoPro. Uh, okay, let's get started. So let's see, I, oh, man, every time I detail the interior of my cars, I forget how to use my product. I don't know why, so let's see. So, because I get confused, like, do I put it directly on the panel? Do I put it on the towel? We're gonna put it on the towel. It's gonna clean. Oh, this smells good. Oh, yeah. This is like a clean and protect type of thing, I think. Let's look. Uh, yes. Okay, we don't have to be too, like, OCD about it with this. And it's easy. My car is not filthy, for the most part. So, yeah. I'm not using this on, like, the leather seats in the steering wheel and, like, um, center console, like, the actual leather pieces. I'm going to use a leather cleaner for that. So, this is just for... Like your trim, your plastics, your dashboard, door panels where there's no leather, stuff like that. The rear of the car is done. Just need to do the rest of the dashboard and my steering wheel. Cannot forget the steering column. Hello. And the, oh, I just moved my steering wheel. And all the little buttons and stuff back here, like your turn signal and your windshield wiper thingy and bobber. I really want to show you guys like a really in-depth detail, like how I really get everything. Like, usually I do, like when I do like my full maintenance details, I do my pedals, pressure wash the mats, use different chemicals. But yeah, this is just a really, really quick... Simple, simple video. 
it is time consuming even doing like a quick detail. Um, doing an in-depth one would definitely take a lot more time. The sun's going down and my camera battery's dying. So I kind of have to do a little quick detail. I wouldn't need a full detail anyways. But she is pretty dusty. It's now getting darker, but here now I'm using my leather quick detailer from Adams. I mean, oh, sorry. I mean, chemical guys. You gotta shake this one and then spray it and then, oh my gosh, spray and then wipe. This stuff gets everywhere. <laughs> Look how gorgeous. And remember friends, leather should not be shiny. It should look natural, which means not super shiny, not really dry, not really wet. Not too sure if this is all leather. I know that's leather over there, right there. But I'm just gonna use it here anyways. I think it's fake, to be honest. But it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Wait, what? I thought that was real. Is it not real? Oh gosh, I don't know anymore. Gotta put these back up. The shifter boot is definitely crusty and dry. It needs help. The thing I like about this car is that whenever I like, you know, detail the panels and whatnot, or do the seats, this here, the body right here, is wide enough for me to sit on, which is perfect compared to the other car. We're all done with the vet. Hey, this is all done. Ew. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't even see. Hold on. We are done with our quick little interior detail. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not perfect. Here's the passenger side. It is getting way too dark for this. <laughs> I just need to clean these cars on the outside now. They're both pretty gross. I might do that here soon. And I might film it, because I think I might actually have time this week, we'll see. So, it all clean, still too dark. Well, that concludes today's little video. Hope you guys liked it. Oh my gosh, this is felt, oh, just stepped on my keys. Oh, see you guys in the next video. Gosh, whose Hellcat is this? Like who? Like, you think you, you drive something like this, like, you know, like, you clean it? Like, jeez. I wonder who drives it. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs>